Welcome back guys, another NVM vlog. This one's on the NVM2 and the topic of conversation is lowering. Um, the standard suspension on the M2, um, similar to that on the M3, so it sits um, arch gap pretty much the same, so we have the same concern, massive gaps. But the handling spot on to be fair, probably the best car we've driven um, at the factory that can handle on track and road and kind of country roads really well. So we're not here to kind of uh, to be negative about the stock suspension because it's probably the best out there. Um, but it does need to, to be lowered a bit. Um, we are actually fitting some coilovers to this vehicle later on. Um, but in the meantime, because we've got our new wheels um, landing in the next couple of weeks, we need to get it lowered um, to, to suit those. Um, what we're going for today is the H&R um, lowering kit, the performance lowering kit, um, which drops it about 30mm at the front and 20mm at the back. Springs are direct swap, like for like, there's no modifications needed. Um, and it should improve the handling, obviously the looks. But lowering springs do aid um, a slightly stiffer ride, but better control and less roll uh, in the corners. So we'll get it inside. Take the wheels off, take it up in the air, get the springs out and replace them. Springs like for like swap for original, so there's no modifications needed. Comes with new bump stops as well. We'll get them fitted, see what it looks like. So that's the rear springs in. Have a look at the original. You can see how close to the band. So we'll get onto the front. So we've got to take the complete strut hat for the fronts, drop links, track rod ends and control arms. Compress the spring, pull it out, put the new one on and that should it. So that's all four springs fitted, all the nuts torqued up to manufacturer's brakes, um, all the cables back together, connections, show you the back, so yeah H&R lowering springs, 20mm on the back, 30mm on the front, we'll get the wheels back on and drop it, take it out for a drive. So that guys is the H&R Performance Lowering Spring um, 30mm drop on the front and 20mm at the back It has literally just been rolled out the workshop so it's still got a couple of mil to drop um, after settling um, We're just going to get it settled over the next kind of 100 or so miles and then get it tracked up and set the camber as best we can and then it's time for the new wheels So we've got to go out for a little drive in it um, Kind of describe what it feels like. So 
So a good test of uh, the H&R lowering springs is the speed bumps we've got on the industrial estate. That will give us an initial feedback as to how stiff they are. Not that bad. Probably say about 20% stiffer on the long compression. It's a bit damp today, so we can't really take it to its limits on the road. But the feel is quite good. Um, it's got good feedback in the steering wheel. It's a bit sharper. Obviously, we've still got to bend it in and take it for tracking, but. Looking at the data, um, it's about as straight and true as possible, so it's just the rear camber is a bit more than it should be, so we can adjust that when we take it for alignment. On the rougher roads, you can feel it being a bit stiffer, but still, it's no way hindering the drive of this M car. Don't forget the M2 shock absorbers are standard shock absorbers. Well, I say standard, they're not electronically controlled, so you can't adjust the dampers as you can in the M3 and M4 um, although the same shock body and kind of compression and rebound is similar but yeah um, we'll be going for a drive soon up back to the Lake District and maybe a bit further north to the north coast um, to get a bit more feel of the car and new wheels should be landing here by then as well so we can get a little photo and a video shoot done but yeah, that was a quick video on the H&R Springs install on the BMW M2. It is a 2018 LCR model, but obviously it falls through um, the complete range. And the new M2 competition runs the same springs and shock absorbers as well. Um, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, guys. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.